Hey guys, I am doing another food shopping haul for you this afternoon. I was watching some keto Audi shopping hauls last night and this morning. And um, I don't always shop in Audi. Sometimes, I, well, so to say, once in a blue moon, I might pop in there and have a mooch. Um, but I haven't been to our local Audi for some time. Now we're quite lucky here in Bromsbury. We've got two Audis. We've got here. We've got one here where I live, which is just on the outskirts of Bromsgrove. Um, and there's one actually in the town centre as well. Uh, to get to the one that's by me, it's literally a 15 minute walk. So I'm quite lucky. So I thought I would use that as an excuse to get out this afternoon, go for a walk, get my exercise for the day. And at the time, grab a few essentials I needed. So I spent £32.21. Um, as always, it, it's very keto inspired because obviously I'm doing the keto diet. Um, question to you guys, do you think I should start mentioning in my titles that I'm doing keto shopping hauls uh, so then other people that are doing the keto diet will know and then watch and then get ideas themselves. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Anyway, further ado, let me show you what I've just bought. Right, the first thing I'm going to show you, the first thing that's on my receipt anyway, is this laundry basket I came across. It was 6 99 I've been after one for some time now and um, well now I've got one. So basically it's a bowl flat laundry basket. The ultimate space saving design. This collapsible laundry basket folds flat when not in use for easy storage. Absolutely perfect for me. I can... The reason why I've been looking for it is because obviously I don't have a tumble dryer so when I do dry my clothes it's either outside on the washing line or sadly it's on the radiators not much choice unfortunately but i just thought instead of like trying to get it all out because normally i do like chuck it on his shoulder and carry it out like that yeah no very savvy um it's not really a good thing to do and i just thought you know what sam just get the bloody thing so there we go one laundry basket and need a quick slurp of my tea this morning it was quite windy and there was a bit of a nip in the air hence why I'm wearing a jumper or sweater or whatever you want to call it I did not realise it was going to warm up as much as it has this afternoon oh my gosh I was sweltering walking back hence my requirement for a liquid refreshment when I returned home so I'm having a cup of tea and I've decided to put some coconut milk in there as well instead of normal milk because you know keto and all that right the next thing on the list that i bought were these in wash scent boosters i didn't even know how they did them well now i do in several scents as well but i've opted for this one bergamot and blue lily i really really wanted to open it up in the shop and have a sniff of it but i didn't think that would be a good idea you know with coronavirus and all that and brilliant news my daughter's had a test results back and they've come back negative she does not have coronavirus so all is good there she's just got a stinky rotten cold anyway oh my goodness me oh that's lovely now I'm not sure if i just mentioned it but i'm going to mention it again these were 199 uh, there's nothing there for 15 washes. I mean, I've heard so much good things anyway about their laundry and cleaning products anyway. Uh, not that they had a great amount. Obviously, like everywhere else in regards to cleaning products, people have just gone nuts. I'm so glad I stocked up on disinfectants and cleaning products way before it all kicked off. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what I'm going on about. I'm very much into my cleaning products. I've got my very own personal Narnia. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, but if you want to come and watch me or follow me on Instagram, please do so. My name on there is Sam's doing keto again. So come, come and check me out. Come, come, come follow me. Anyway, I'm looking forward to trying this one out now. Uh, I 
Fauna Pace will get some Greek yogurt while I was in there because as well as Asda, Aldi appears to be the only place that does the kind of Greek yogurt that I like. Now my boyfriend, bless him, a couple of weeks ago he took me shopping at the food warehouse and he got me this great big massive tub of Greek style yogurt. It's nice, I'm not going to knock it, I have been enjoying it, but it's just not quite the same as actual proper Greek yoghurt, the authentic Greek yoghurt. Now this cost £1.39 which I thought was very reasonable price. I think I only paid £1.50 normally for Asda's so very happy of that and very happy for the fact that I was able to get some. Now something that I did have mean to have a look for whilst I was in Aldi, uh, it was inspired from one of the videos that I watched this morning and it was this from Sweet Freedom. This is the Shock Shot in brownie flavour. Now, um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I like to make my own fat bombs. If you're not sure what fat bombs are, fat bombs are like a sweet treat we can have on keto without sugar being added or any kind of carbs. So it's, 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 it's weird. Look them up. Um, at some point, maybe, maybe I might do a video and show you what fat bombs are. But I thought this is my plan of action. Now, this is how I like to make my fat bombs. I get some cream cheese and I combine that with some peanut butter, something like this, a little bit of sugar-free sweeteners or syrups that I've got, I mix it all together and then I separate them into little um, silicon tray things that I've got, freeze them and then um, you just can't beat them. And I thought that would be like amaze balls, as simple as that. These only have 13 calories per teaspoon. Uh, carbs, let's have a look. 2.4, but that's probably all I would put into the mixture. So I could combine it into, say, six fat ones. Oh, you're probably looking at a minuscule, minuscule amount of carbs from that. So I am really, really looking forward to trying that out. And that cost me £2.49. If you are ever tempted to go on keto diet and you're looking for coconut oil, one place I would definitely, definitely recommend you go and have a look for is in Aldi. Um, hence why I grabbed myself some. I ran out of coconut oil last week. I bought a great big tub from Tesco's a good few months back and it lasted ages but eventually I had ran out. I did get as a replacement some extra virgin olive oil. Normally I'd go for avocado oil but it's very difficult to get hold of that here in Bromsgrove. Normally I do have to go to Tesco's to get that and why well, I just couldn't get another Tesco's shopping delivery slot. So extra virgin oil it was. Now I have some coconut oil to do my cooking with. I'm extremely happy. Now this costs £1.69 which I think is a very, very reasonable price for coconut oil. And um, what can I say? If you're brave and your guts don't explode and go straight through you, you can put that in your bulletproof coffees in the morning. Or you can just, like I do, use it for cooking with. Um, another thing that I picked up that I, I probably have tried it, but I've never bought it before, is mascarpone cheese. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I might use it in fat bombs because it says you can stir it into pasta or sweet desserts. On keto, you can't eat pasta. Just so you know. Um, I'm sure I'll find. I used four of it and this cost me 85p. One thing I was looking for the other day when I went shopping in Morrison's was um, some chilli smoked mackerel fillets. But they didn't have any, so instead I just got the peppered ones. Aldi actually did have some. These were £1.59. There they be. 
Uh, these go off on the 22nd, so I'm not sure if I'm going to freeze these ones for now. They should be alright. Well, obviously, they don't go off until the 22nd. Well, my one's off from there, so very happy to have got those. These were not on my shopping list. I had no intentions of getting any more. I don't know how I'm even going to get them in my freezer. My freezer is absolutely bloody rammed. But I saw these salt and chilli pork belly slices and I just, well, I couldn't leave them behind. They were a great staple for keto full stop, but I love pork belly, especially salt and chilli pork belly. So good, so, so good. These cost me 2 99 um, reasonably priced, I think, in my opinion. But oh, oh, so looking forward to them. I've got some leafage. How <laughs> can you see it? That's my plant, it's in the background because mum's leaning my phone against it. Right, the next two items are tea bags, and um, I definitely needed to get these. These were on my list that I took with me. Uh, Obviously, I need some more normal bog standard tea bags. I've tried these ones. These are the Diplomat Gold Blend ones. Um, I don't think I've ever tried these before. But I'll give them a go. And these cost me 95 pence. I also need to get some more Earl Grey tea bags as well. I love Earl Grey. So, so I just need to get some more. And this cost me 75p. I found these asparagus, I think they're part of the six by thing that they do. Um, they're 89p. For the amount that's in there, hmm, yeah, maybe I need to bother it. Um, too late, I've got them now. I did need to get some more tomatoes because the ones I got from the food warehouse last week are now starting to go a bit funny. I'm very iffy about tomatoes. There are only some certain tomatoes that I can eat. So for example, big ones, like the beef ones and like normal salad ones, I just can't, I cannot eat them. Plum tomatoes and tins, forget it. I'm not gonna touch them with a barge pole. But things like cherry tomatoes and plum tomatoes and tomatoes on the vine, I can just about deal with them. Um, but once I start going a little bit soft or wrinkly, I just I can't eat them. So, so strange. Well, anyway, uh, I've seen these cherry tomatoes. These cost 76p, so I thought grab them. They'd be nice for my salads. Simple as that. I was going to get some more like iceberg lettuce, but I couldn't find any. And normally I don't like to buy bagged salads. Firstly, I think it's a waste because it's in plastic packaging. I'm very much against plastic packaging. But I picked up. I have to admit, they look very, very yummy. So I've got this mixed leaf salad, which has been washed and it's ready to eat. So I can just, I don't know, bang it on the plate and add the rest of the stuff and be happy as Larry. Now that cost 55p, which I thought, for the amount that's in there, reasonable. We've got red multi-leaf lettuce, green multi-leaf lettuce, green batavia and radicchio. Yum. But then I came across this bagged salad it's called superfood salad now this was a lot more money this was one pound 19 so best be worth it okay very lovely. we do have more variety of stuff in there so we've got lamb crest red chard baby leaf spinach baby kale shredded beetroot and wild rocket <clears throat> this goes on the sick so it's not going to last for very long. Like maybe I can add that as an accompaniment with something, I don't know, with tea one night. I don't know. 
but salad sorted can never have enough salad salad is one of the biggest staples on the keto as long as you watch the carbs next two things i was once again inspired to have a look for by one of the videos that i watched this morning uh, the first thing i'm going to show you is this garlic meal i love garlic really really love garlic and although I do buy fresh garlic to have, you know, add to my cooking, um, whatever it is that I'm cooking and needs garlic. Sometimes I can be very lazy as well. And I have already got some garlic powder. So if I'm having one of them lazy days, normally that's what I would chuck in it. But I saw this, one of those videos, and I thought, well, I'm going to have a look for it because I just quite like the packaging. It costs 99p in case you want to go and get yourself one. There's other ones as well, I think it's like a pizza seasoning and other kind of things. And I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed by um, the seasonings, with the amount of different varieties of seasonings that Aldi do at very, very reasonable prices. So I'm going to try and remember that for the future. And next time I need to stock up on seasonings, then I think I might have to head off down there. My second thing I was inspired to get was I love cashew nuts. I do indeed. Not that I really need any more nuts because I've got quite a lot of nuts now. Uh, but they're peanuts, which you really shouldn't eat on the keto diet. Um, when I saw this girl, I can't remember her name, um, what she was raving on about is and how bloody cheap they were for the amount that you actually get. Oh my God, she's right. Now these cost £1.59. That is such... A bloody bargain for 200 grams of cashews. I, I can't get my head over it. I really can't. I mean, they're not salted or roasted or anything. They're just plain bog standard cashew nuts. But who gives a shit? I love these. I love them. I do. Just so you know. Right, we're now coming to the last few items that I found. Now these three items I'm not going to show you are at the till. Um, should they have picked them up? Probably not. No, but I just bought nice little treats now and then. Why not? Because they are sugar free after all. Um, it's like little sweets that they do. So I've got some soft foams, some mini gums. And some sweet licorice. I love licorice. And so I have to admit, one thing I've really missed not being able to eat. Um, so yeah, this is sugar-free licorice with sweeteners for 100 grams. Now you only get 75 grams anyway. Uh, but per 100 grams, oh hang on, we've got 75, no. Oh. 100 grams is 77 grams of carbs oh now i found what i'm looking for per serving so if i was to have 25 grams this is been a quarter off this bag we're looking at 19 grams of carbs that's quite a lot really because i try and only have about 30 grams so it looks like I won't be eating a quarter of a bag at the same time. I'll just have, I don't know, three or four out eight. Out, out, out. Oh, I don't know. Bad idea. But these were 69 pH. I think I might have tried something similar before. Um, it kind of like sucked me in. What can I say? Right, the last thing, let me just quick step my tea before it's going to be cold. Better. Right, now I have heard so much good reviews about this next item I'm going to show you. I've never, ever known my, how many times I've looked for this product been able to get my hands on it. Today, I was a very lucky person and I was able to do so. I am talking about the Lacura Concealer Pen. This cost me £2.49. I have got it in the shade 100, which is cashmere. I've already 
and try to hold it out under one's eyes already because my bags were just unbelievable and um, I have to admit I'm very very impressed okay I haven't completely hidden them but I think I just need a good night's sleep my cat last night she woke me up about three o'clock so she had a funny turn she's just not been herself um, but yeah she was lying really really close to me her paws were like on my hand like it was like she was holding my hand and she was making like a really funny kind of whimper noise now I think she's had a stroke but not a massive one I don't know I don't know for sure without taking to an actual fet I, I don't know for sure but um yeah she just couldn't get comfortable and I think she just gets really really frustrated because she can't jump up and down as much as well she, well she couldn't before anyway but she could just about cope and jump up little things and the fact that she can't even do that anymore it, you know it's, it's pretty frustrating and this one leg of hers it's, it's definitely very very weak um, but because she's been sleeping so much in the daytime obviously she just couldn't get to sleep so she's just lying there bored out of her brains I guess you know, normally she would come downstairs while I'm asleep and she'd probably have a party um, in front, sit in front of the TV and watch you know late night shit and sit in the window and abuse all the local tomcats well that's what I visualize she does um, but obviously she's not been able to do that anymore so it's really sad because I don't know what to do for her she's not ill ill but she's not herself and I just wish I could do more so anyway she woke me up for free I was up with her for ages um, so I was just keeping her company and stroking her and consulting her and just giving her lots of love making sure that she knows you know mum's here it's all good um, I don't know which of us nodded off first me or her um, but I'm tired. I'm really tired. Um, so my, my, my bags today are just all oh, not good. Well, I've tried this out. I'm very impressed with it. I'm very glad I was able to get my hands on it. Finally, at last. I love the packaging. And I'm not just talking about the box it comes. I'm talking about the actual pen itself. Because it just looks very swanky. Very sophisticated. Very classy. And, um, yeah very much looking forward to adding that to my makeup routine in the mornings now so guys that is everything that i got as i said at the beginning i spent 32 pounds 21 pence um as always thank you so much for watching and if you did want to let me know if you think i should start saying in my titles this is keto uh, let me know down below if there's anything else you'd like to say or to ask do so in your comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well and if you'd like to see more of me and you're not already a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and come and watch little Royal me i'm not sure when i'm going to be back who knows um, i'm going to try not to do any more food shopping hauls for some time now because obviously I think I've got enough food. I mean, I said this yesterday when I went to Morrison's, but it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. God, I'm losing track of time, guys. I don't know where I am anymore. Where are we, guys? What is going on with this panic? When are we going to go back to normal? <sighs> Anybody know? Let me know below. Right, I'm going, I'm waffling on, as per usual. So you take care, stay safe, stay in, and I'll see you soon. Until then, bye for now.